This is a Minecraft skill that looks impossible. It's called the Double Chest Neo, and it requires you to jump from the smallest edge of an end chest to then land on the smallest part of an enchantment table in quick succession. This is one of Minecraft's hardest skills. There is absolutely no way I land this jump first time. No. Oh. <gasps> Wait, what? I don't know how I did that. But that is the Double Chest Neo mastered. And that's just the first done out of 26 skills I need to complete. Because in 24 hours time, I've scheduled a fight with a Minecraft pro called Minitech. A pro who has severely embarrassed me in the past. So to ensure I get my revenge, every skill in this video has been designed to help me beat it. For example... God bridging. You see, this skill would be vital for when I get in a tough spot and need to escape during the fight. And to complete it, I have to perfectly time placing multiple blocks under my feet whilst walking backwards at max speed. The goal is to travel over 10 blocks without falling off. Come on. However, for hour after hour, nope. Oh, why? I kept failing over and over again. I actually suck so bad. Like, why can't I just place a few blocks? But just as I was about to give up, Let's go! That hole in the ground is my 10 block marker. And as you can see, 7, 8, 9, 10 blocks. That is got bridging completed. Next up is an impossible trick shot, which I'm going to use to improve my aim. The goal is to hit this target through a solid wall. See, by shooting an arrow directly at an enderman in a boat, the game forces the arrow through the enderman as well as any solid block behind it. Therefore... Let's go! That was insane! But unfortunately, not all the skills could just be movement and trick shots. I do need to learn how to fight. Which is why I'm going to attempt the hardest combat method, End Crystal PvP. But when attempting this skill, there is one rule you must follow, which is do not... No, I jumped. Jumped. I jumped up. I... Yeah, I jumped up. You see, the crystals deliver incredible amounts of damage when exploded near a player's feet. So jumping equals insta-death. But once I stopped jumping and started learning... Yes! I finally won one! My goal is to win five jewels back-to-back, -back, as well as to complete a special move later on. Ha-ha! <laughs> yes! That is four wins done! So for the fifth win, I'm going to attempt to master two skills at once by using the special move to hit my opponent up into the end crystal. Let's see if this works. Oh, come on. 17 hours until we fight and I'm starting to feel pretty confident. Next up is the eight block gap jump extension. To complete this jump, I have to try and place two blocks in rapid time to stop and catch my fall. Here we go. Here we go. Big jump. Never mind. Come on. Let's make this the one. Yes. 200 blocks below me is a camel. And to perfect my timings, I'm going to fall all the way down and try to land on its back and survive. Here we go. Where are you, camel? Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go! Camel clutch completed. But this is where things took a turn. Next up is the glass pane god bridge, a skill I'll need to master to perfect my block placements for our fight. To complete it, I have to continuously bridge backwards in mid-air. And my goal is to land on that dirt over 10 blocks away. However, yeah, this is not very easy. I, I genuinely think this might be impossible. After quote-unquote mastering the god bridge earlier, I really thought this would be easy for me to learn, but... Maybe not. However, refusing to give up, I started trying different methods to see if I could find the one that would work. And through my hundreds and hundreds of attempts, I couldn't find one. But I did see some guy doing something slightly similar on YouTube. So now I knew that it was possible, I kept on going. One way or another, I will glass paint Godbridge today. The skill is too important to give up on. And with this fresh motivation and four hours of practice, I did this. Oh my word. I genuinely didn't think I'd be able to do that. But that is the glass paint god bridge mastered. Next up is a skill that until today, I didn't know was possible. To complete it, you have to perfectly jump onto the edge of a slime block. And if you land in the right spot, you will take damage and still get the bounce, making you go almost twice as high as usual. I don't quite know how, but I am a master of this skill already. It only took me 15 minutes, but I am actually cooking right now. But with 17 skills to learn and only 12 hours remaining until my fight with Minitech, I needed to hurry up. This is a double ladder Neo. To complete this and improve my parkour, I have to jump around these two blocks and land on a ladder. 
Yes! That was perfect! Next up is the scaffold bridge. And to improve my block placements, I have to perfectly place multiple scaffolds under my feet as I jump from one to the other. Yes, this is it! This is it! Come on! Scaffold bridge mastered! For this next skill, I'm going to attempt to learn how to boat fly. And this is a skill that could prove essential if I need a quick escape plan during the fight. I've just got to take it slow and I'll get there. And let's go! This is a water travel course. And to help improve my aim, I'm going to propel myself through the air into these blocks of water using the enchantment Riptide on a trident. Let's do this. That's one. Come on. Two. Nice. Keep it going. Three. Yep. Four. Yes, last one, last one. And let's go. That's the water travel course mastered. 11 hours left and I'm feeling pretty confident. The next two skills are the second fighting method I need to learn, Axe PvP. The goal here was for me to win five jewels back to back, as well as to learn a special move. But with zero Axe experience, things didn't go too well. What? Sometimes I just... You see, this skill is one I've been putting off for years, as I knew how bad I currently was. But with a fight in less than 10 hours, I had no choice but to learn it. And after watching a few tutorials, something began to click. This is better. Yeah! The tutorial told me to always keep a three block gap between me and my opponent, and that is making a massive difference. I've also learned how to deliver crits by cancelling my forward momentum as I go to attack. So that is the special move mastered. But now I've got to win four more duels to complete the second. Oh, 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 come on! I've, I've clocked it. I am now a gaming god. Oh, come on! Something's happening here. Oh, come on. That's five jewels won, so that's the second act skill completed. Next up is a skill that is vital for me to learn. I'm about to attempt to build an underwater nether port, and this skill would be a big part of a potential escape plan during the fight at the end of the video. The first step to building the portal is to look for an L shape in a magma ravine. Now I block off this water, then I'm going to attempt to build the surrounding blocks for the portal. Boom, 31.6, not bad. The aim is to complete this in under 20 seconds, which I did almost immediately. Yes, yes. Come on, 17.1 seconds. That is the underwater nether portal completed. Now to ensure that during a fight, my movement is as close to perfect as possible, I'm gonna attempt this, trapdoor parkour. The goal is to travel over 70 blocks up into the air within 30 seconds. There is less than a second to land each jump, so I've gotta stay focused. But this feels very good at the moment. Here we go, surely. Yes, 24 seconds, that is unreal. Should I need to use this skill later on, it will give me a big advantage. Truthfully though, if I was going to succeed at beating Minitech, I'm not sure I quite believed it yet. Therefore, what I needed was a way to distract him during our fight. And this was it. See, if I could learn Beethoven on these note blocks, I hoped it would be a strong enough distraction to help me achieve the second part of my plan, which is something I'll reveal a little later on. Let's go! This might seem confusing now, but just wait till you see how clever this is. Next up, I'm learning two crafting skills that should help me save a ton of time during the fight. See, there is no doubt that during the duel, I will need to craft some items. So I'm going to learn a new, much faster crafting method and attempt to learn it with end crystals. The plan was to have the crafting book open as I'm crafting whatever item it is I need. Then by pressing my spacebar once, my mouse reaches the crafting inventory slot, allowing me to click in the perfect position to receive the item in question. This is a massive time saver. I'm not perfect with it, admittedly, but that is another two skills completed. Let's keep this up. Now, I don't plan to just use axes and end crystals during the fight. I also want to use swords, which means I've got to learn sword PvP. But not only that, I also plan to learn the fishing rod skill where you pull the enemy in towards you and then deal max possible damage. And although I was anticipating struggling with yet another PvP method, I was actually quite good. Yes! Come on, first game of one. Come on. What a massive mistake you made. Oh, yes, I did my fishing rod trick then as well. You're good. Okay, never mind, you're not. You're not as good as me. Come on. You've got to be low now. Come on. One more win. Yes. I'm coming, Minitech. I'm not going to stop. One hour, 36 minutes to go until our fight. So it's time to warm up my aim with this skill, a Minecraft aim map. Nine arrows, eight skeletons. One, two, three, four, five, six. I haven't missed yet. Seven. That's one. Yes. 
Come on! Next up, I'm going to learn a skill I've done many times in the past, but never to the level of difficulty I'm about to attempt. In my hand, I have 20 concrete powder, which is classed as a falling block. My aim is to travel to that water over there 50 blocks away using only the concrete in my inventory. All right, super solid start here. Come on, let's just keep this pace up. Probably about halfway there. Let's not make any stupid mistakes. Come on. Come on. Yes! Concrete powder completed. Now it's time to prep the world for my PvP fight using this next skill, which is a redstone trap. Remember those note blocks I played earlier? Well, using those note blocks, I'm currently building a trap that I plan to use to distract Minitech enough so that he'll fall down, almost die, allowing me to then deliver the final blows to him to then win the duel. However, knowing how good he was, I had to make sure that every part of this trap was foolproof. And as far as I was aware, it was absolutely perfect. And so, with 24 hours now up, it was time to fight. All right, you ready? All leads up to this. I'm ready. All right, let's do this. Come on, then. Tom, you have to swing back. I am! Listen to this guy. Tom, you have to swing back. Shut up! He was right, though. My axe PvP skills were clearly not good enough, so I decided this was the perfect time to attempt my god bridge. I'm gone. Where are you going? But my fears of not fully mastering these skills had become a reality. Ugh, that was terrible. <laughs> Yo, what the heck? But I could now redeem myself, as up ahead I was going to craft end crystals using the method I learned earlier. However, I failed that too, meaning Minitech was now right behind me. Ah! Give me up! <laughs> okay, I guess we're just in the water now. I'm going. I'm gone. I'm gone. Now, although I failed the first two skills to help me escape, I was going to build an underwater nether portal. What? There's no, there's no way. There's no How way. are you still on my tail? But unfortunately, Minitech was still keeping up with me. So I had no choice but to lead into my next skill, which was sword PvP. Why do you want so many portals? Where did you get these? <laughs> Oh, you're taking damage. You're taking damage. Get off me. Oh, I'm off. I'm off. You left me no other choice. But with that not working either, I was forced to play my hand and attempt to kill him using the redstone trap. Right. I'm going to play you a song. Stand over no. there. I've been practicing this. Right. <laughs> And this was the moment I knew I was outmatched. What? What? <laughs> oh, you know what's going on. No, you don't. No. Oh, <laughs> After all this time and effort I'd put in, I still couldn't defeat Minitech. But despite this, knowing how well I'd done to learn 26 impossible skills over just 24 hours, I could hold my head up high knowing next time I'll have my revenge.